and welcome to another beautiful edition of Annie Otter's vlog. If today's your face day, meeting me, you are welcome. Please hit the red button that says subscribe, turn on the notification bell, and you will be among the very first people that will be notified whenever I post something new. If you're a returning fan, family subscriber, thank you so much for coming back. I really, really love and appreciate you. Please do not forget to share, like, and comment on my videos. This will hype me and boost me to do much more better. All right, guys, so in today's edition, I am going to be discussing about this simple common food that we can eat every day to boost our immune system without taking any medications. So every one of us know what is going on in the environment, all this COVID, this variant, this, da, 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 cold flu going on. Yes, I'm going to be discussing about the simple common food that you can take, you and I can take every day to make our immune system mm, strong and ready to defend us at any time with any infectious disease. All right, in no particular order, I would say citrus. Mm -hmm. So citrus involves orange, tangerine, lemon, lime. So these are very, very high in vitamin C. So vitamin C is very, very supportive of your immune system so this will prevent bacteria and viruses from evading your body okay so these are a very strong defensive system to your body in other words eat at least one orange a day so a medium-sized orange has about 200 milligrams of vitamin C so this can help you a whole lot if you eat one orange a day and again vitamin C helps in prevention of upper respiratory infection so you and I know what is going on in the world today a lot of respiratory infection flying all over the air again you have to equip yourself with high density and volume of vitamin Vitamin C. Sunflower seed, pumpkin seed, walnut, Brazil nut, almond nuts, these are very, very high in vitamin C, vitamin B12, and vitamin E. Okay, so this also will help to, to fight any evading bacteria or viruses into your body. So again, a handful of nuts daily or the uh, sunflower seed daily will also equip your system to fight any of these invading bacteria and viruses. So the walnut in particular is very high in vitamin B12 and also also in copper and folic acid, which in other words, will reduce stress to your system. Others are sweet potatoes and carrots and bell peppers. Again, these are very, very high. These vegetables are very high in vitamin C and also in vitamin A. So this helps to produce white blood cells in a very high quantity. And this will help to fight any evading bacteria and viruses into your system. Again, it helps to produce mucous membrane that will protect your respiratory uh, tract so that any evading bacteria or viruses will be fought against again your body will win because you have enough of these vitamins in your system so all these are sardines and salmon mm -hmm. this is the fish category so sardine and salmon are very very high again and uh, in vitamins and they add as a uh, they have this potent uh, antioxidant property which adds as a bodyguard to our body again it will fight any evading uh, bacteria and um, and viruses that are trying to attack our body it enhances immunity okay so again these two fish salmon and sardines are very very good for your body baked beans mm -hmm. baked beans you can cook beans though if you can bake it but you can also cook your beans so these are very very high in zinc what does it do so zinc are very very crucial show for the normal development and formation of the immune system mm -hmm. so eat those and you'll get your, your enough zinc for your body then turmeric yes turmeric produces uh, curcumin that's a natural compound which is responsible for uh, that beautiful vibrant color of turmeric and they act as anti-inflammatory compound 
Mm. All right, garlic and ginger. This is like everyday thing in my house. There's no way a day will go by that I will not eat garlic and ginger in one way or the other. Again, this enhances your immune cells uh -huh, to function better. So they fight and protect your system. They minimize the severity of certain diseases just in case you have respiratory uh, tract infection. So these two will help to minimize the effect effectiveness of those bacteria and viruses in your system. So again, make sure you have a taste of ginger and garlic in your diet on daily basis. Then another one is the pomegranate. Mm -hmm. Not everybody has access to it and they are expensive. I will tell you about that. Again, they, ha they has these uh, antimicrobial um, effect and the anti-inflammatory effect also. They act in other words to combat any virus and bacterial infection so they decrease the length of cold and flu that your body will uh, have just in case you have cold and flu so these fruits will help to decrease the length that those uh, infection will stay in your system in other words it fights it and conquers it and get rid of them from your system then another one is green vegetables when when i talk about green vegetables this will be kale spinach broccoli uh, water leaf so all these things all these vegetables are very high in vitamin a and vitamin c in other words, they are anti-inflammatory and also antioxidant. They has a whole lot of this vitamin A and vitamin C and also folic acid. Don't forget. So this compound release chemicals that optimizes your immune system, your immunity, and also in the gut. They also help to fight all those bacteria that are not supposed to be in your gut. Another one is yogurt. Yes. Mm -hmm. Make sure you eat at least one cup of yogurt a day when i say yogurt not those ones that are sugar packed or maybe sweetened okay just eat a natural yogurt okay it contains life and active culture so this help to stimulate your immune system and also to fight against diseases and this uh, this is a great source of vitamin d which boosts the body which acts as the body's uh, body guide okay so it defenses your body against bacteria and also against viruses Green tea and black tea are very, very good. They are packed with what we call flavonoids, okay? So this type of, um, of powerful antioxidant has also amino acid that add, this acid adds in production of germ-fighting compound in the T cells in your body, okay? So that's why you need those green teas and black teas another one papaya some people call it papaya we call it papaya in my place but the other name of it is papaya so this is loaded with vitamin c it doubles the ability of your body to fight infection okay so papaya is very very high in vitamin c again it at least a size a slice of papaya a day so it helps to cleanse the gut and it has this enzyme to quicken your digestive system and cleanse your digestive system again they are very very high in potassium magnesium and also folic acid another one poultry when i talk about poultry turkey chicken yes these are very high in vitamin b12 so vitamin b12 is an important has important Important role in the chemical reaction that happens in the body in other words in the vital organs formation and also of new healthy red blood cells so again or throat chicken broth turkey broth very very nice in cold flu and sore throat sip it <laughs> kiwi you know this small powerful hairy fruit has a whole lot of potassium vitamin k vitamin c folic acid and what does it do it boosts your white blood cells and the white blood cells are the cells that fight bacteria fight viruses fight any invading thing into your body okay so this white blood cell is very, very strong in fighting them so make sure you eat at least one kiwi per day that would be nice okay <laughs> All right, guys, thank you so much for listening to another beautiful edition of Annie Otto's channel. I love you guys. Please do not forget to share, like, and 
love my videos bye guys i love you bye guys